We're live. Hi. We're live. Welcome to Mom Cave Live. We've got a great topic and a really awesome guest this week. Our guest is Emily Ironi, also known as the Dairy Fairy. Hi, Emily. Hello. <laughs> there's my fairy wings back here. <laughs> because what she does is so magical, but we'll get to that. And we have Dina Drew joining us. Hey, Dina. Hello. So there was this really funny blog post by um, Nicole Jankowski, Mama 4 is Tired is her blog, I think, and she was talking about the evolution of mom underwear, mm. and um, that got me thinking about this week's topic. So <laughs> <laughs> do you guys wear different underwear now that you are moms than you did before you were moms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More coverage. More coverage, yeah. for sure. There's mm -hmm. more to cover now. <laughs> the yeah. funny thing is that I I weigh the same, but the proportional just like the where things are at has shifted. Oh, yeah. and so, you know, things I, I like things to cover up a little bit higher, a little bit lower. A string just doesn't provide that type of support anymore, sadly. So something like this. It's <laughs> not supportive. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I was thinking more something like, like uh, this. That's even smaller, see. This, <laughs> this is coming out of my drawer, for reals, but I cannot remember the last time I wore them because what happens is I go, I pull them out, and then I'm like, no way. There's no way, and I put it thrown back in. But I don't have the heart to actually dispose of them. I got rid of mine. You did? I, I did. I had to. I couldn't stand looking at them anymore. <laughs> it's depressing, huh? Yeah. It was just like, why is this here? And then a few times I put them on, and I was like, ooh. So I, I just threw them out. But I, I mean, I have thongs now, but this, now this is like my mommy thong. This is like... This is like the super soft, lacy one. And like, even this, I can't, you know, this is like huge. And like, this is like cotton in here, right? And like, I still can only wear these for like a minute. <laughs> like, why? Right. And then I got my granny panties. <laughs> these are sexy. <laughs> so that's what you've graduated to. Yes. Yeah. I love that the granny panties always have fun prints, though. Because, you know, oh, if you're going to be wearing granny pan panties, they got to roar. They've got to be, like, wild. Oh, yeah, like these, these, these sexy animal prints. Like, really? <laughs> like, wow. I really? just got these, actually, at H&M. Those they are, are really cute. They're really cute. On. They're, like, the cheeky kind. So, yeah. you know, they actually don't look super, super grandma. They're kind of somewhere in like the you know forty something. <laughs> so that there's more. much more coverage going on there yeah. than there used to be. We do. I hear my kid banging something. I'm going to tell her to be quiet. Hold on one second. <laughs> hey, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are asleep. Thank God. Yeah. Okay, kid, you're messing up our audio. Okay, so I'm back. This is the beauty of live stuff. Anyhow. Yeah, so these are my pre-pregnancy ones that I would wear. And I just I want you all to notice the width of this mm -hmm. versus what I'm currently wearing in my eighth month of pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> the width of these is it's it's as wide as my shoulders. <laughs> <It is. laughs> so. I wanna see you put them on from the top down versus you could, the top you could put these right on down. over your head. So <laughs> I I don't really understand because the baby is in my uterus <laughs> and why my ass got so wide. It's like you're carrying a baby in your ass. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, the the funniest thing is that what happens after, like, so with my breasts, uh, so I'm like a double A on a good day if I'm like really sucking, you know, like pushing and whatever. And then when I was breastfeeding, they went up to like a really nice full C, and I was like, yes, finally once in my life I see how clothes are supposed to fit. Yeah. I know what it's like to like actually have cleavage and wear low-cut shirts, and I was loving it. Well, within three months when I, I ended breastfeeding, back, and not only back, but down. Oh, yeah, like, the saggy, saggy little itty-bitties. Mm, yeah, I had those. Mm-hmm. Not so much 
that's a good motivation for breastfeeding as long as possible, like until they're in middle school or something. So <laughs> you're burning like a million calories while you're breastfeeding, so it's like a double whammy. Your boobs are big and your tummy is little. It's like a win-win, and your baby's healthy, obviously. So all great reasons to breastfeed. Breast so Let's let's scoop back a little bit before the breastfeeding occurs. When you have the baby at the hospital, were you guys prepared for the mesh underwear? <laughs> no. I had been given tips from a couple of girlfriends that said, "Here's a list of the things you need to steal from the hospital." Okay, you have yeah. to steal the the um burp cloths, you have to steal the, the swaddles, because for whatever reason their swaddles work way better, and you have to steal the mesh underwear. So I had in my head thought these things were amazing, and then I saw them, I put them on, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding, I want to burn these things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not my favorite. Mm -mm. I remember the nurse giving me the instructions of like, here are the underwear, and this is what I want you to put in them. And it was like seven or eight different layers of items, like an ice pack, a tux pad. It was really thick, and we called it the mesh underwear burrito. <laughs> and I, I was not prepared. I really wasn't. No, no one, even my own mother, hadn't warned me about the mesh underwear or how long you might need to wear them or the pens or something. So... That's, that's that stage. But then, let's move on. So, we get home from the hospital, we've had the baby, we're, we're getting rid of the mesh underwear. And then what that comes next is the postpartum underwear and the nursing stuff. So, this is the nursing bra that I got at Target, wonderful place, but also extremely wide, extremely white. I'm big and ugly. That's better than the ones I had. The ones I had had, I don't even have them anymore, I threw them out, but they were like like this, like covered all here, and it had like a hook. They look like 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 really bad lingerie. I mean, they, it just like you unhooked it, and it was like the boob came out. It was, they were really nasty. This has the, this has the hook. Um, let's see if I can demonstrate. This is the hook situation, but it's not pretty, and... Yeah. You don't want to like wear this under your clothing, and you certainly don't feel pretty. And then if you actually have to pump, the pumping bra is a whole other thing. I didn't right? know there were pumping bras. I just did it without. <laughs> oh, wait. How did you pump yeah. without the pumping bra? Yeah, were you like holding it? I held it. it. I mean, you know, I only breastfed for like six weeks. So, I mean, I, and I got, when I pumped, I got like this much. So, I didn't need a pumping bra. I just hold, held it. Oh. I didn't know there was a pumping bra. <laughs> The idea wow. of the pumping bra is amazing because then it's like hands-free. It's like having, you know, your hands-free phone. Yeah. So you can do stuff while you're hooked into this pumping bra, but they're hideous and medieval and, and gross. And I think Emily has one to share with us. This beautiful thing that you get strapped into that has this handy-dandy zipper and two holes. So you put this on and you seriously feel like you're out of a sci-fi movie. It's very... Um, Sexy. I mean, that's the last word you could use to describe this. It actually reminds me of, uh, just uh, just in seeing it on the video, it reminds me of, like, um, what's his name, Anthony Hopkins, and, like, you know. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> yeah, there's something very Silence of the Lambs about this. Um, and I have to say, for me, I knew nothing about nothing. I was a very late bloomer in my mothering. My da I had my daughter at 41. All my girlfriends that were moms already had, like, teens, right, or they were all single and not likely to have kids. So I was in this weird place where I didn't know anything about anything and was just trying to figure things out on my own. Sorry for the barking. Um, it's not my child. So um, I went out and bought this thinking that I was brilliant. I'm like, oh my god, this is the most genius thing. It's amazing. And I'm sitting there typing away, reading, doing whatever, wearing this thing. And my boyfriend at the time walked into the room and the look of his, of his face, the sheer horror at seeing me with, like, you know, breasts oozing out the top, tummy oozing out of the bottom. Like, it just, I knew that I had scarred him for life. <laughs> and I realized there's got to be more. There's just no way this is the solution. Because um, as moms, we know our bodies 
they're just not the same. They're not going to be the same. So why? It's like instead of using things to make us feel less attractive, I'd like to use something that's going to like enhance what I've got to work with, right? So, yeah, that was quite a revelation for sure. Yeah, and the other thing about it is they call it a bra, but it's not like you can wear that all day and then just slip the pump in there. It's, it's really more of a pumping apparatus. So I would put it on over you know, whatever I was wearing, if I was at work or at home, just get naked and put that thing on. So it's, it's, it's not very useful. But that brings us to why we have Emily here. Um, she has come up with a solution. La! <laughs> a little fairy dust magic um, and a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But yeah, I, um, I decided to design basically something that would be pretty attractive, efficient. You can nurse in it. You can pump in it. Um, and I'll show you guys my very first prototype. Oh. So this is, looks nothing like that little white Target bra that you were. <laughs> and this was, this was like really how the whole thing started was with this prototype. And I loved playing with the color and the lace. This is kind of a signature lace that I use on all the products. And, um, and the idea behind this is that you can wear it all day long. So you, would, uh, you put it on. It's attractive. It's cute. It's comfortable. You can nurse in it. You can pump in it. And you don't have to keep changing in and out of different bras. So, um, and I named it Arden after my daughter because um, I knew I was always going to love the name. Um, so, yeah, and it's, it's been, gosh, now I want to say almost two years that I've been doing this. Um, best job I've ever had and a it's, best boss. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so needed. And that's, like, that's a bra I would wear even if I wasn't nursing and pumping. Um, oh, and... Emily sent me this, her sleep bra, which I've been wearing in my pregnant state, which is so cute. Oh, it's comfy. It's really comfy and cute and soft, and it has matching panties that actually don't look as huge, but they still do fit my pregnant ass. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and my husband thought it was cute, so that was nice. Not that what he thinks matters that much at this point, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so anyhow... We okay. Before we go on to the next stage of mom underwear, we should say that that's this week's giveaway. You can win something from the Dairy Fairy. You just have to go to our blog, momcavetv.com, or there's a link under this video. And Emily is going to show you an adorable thing. So this is the Arden bra, and this is what is up for grabs for a really lucky, lucky woman. And you know what? Since you showed the underwear, I'm going to throw in the matching panties as well. So you've got the full set, which I call bringing sexy back because it's kind of like it all started in the back bedroom, right? I mean, hello. Well, for most people, it starts in the bedroom. Some in the kitchen. I mean, you know, people get <laughs> kind of wild in all rooms. But bedroom is your most conventional place, and I feel like you got to bring sexy back to the bedroom, to wherever you are, I mean, so the full set, like for nursing and pumping, hardly anyone makes matching sets where you're just feeling beautiful top to bottom. So yeah, I'm going to throw on the panties as well. That's right, so how awesome. How does the bra work? Is there, there's no hooks it looks like, right? Like there's no hooks. So um, what you would do is to, to pump, you just un, you open the flaps, um, and there are, and I don't know if it's easy to see, but um, I should have worn it, actually. Um, so their flange openings are oh, right. I see. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, the flange in there. And then to nurse, even easier, it's a pull aside. So just like the sleep bra that you were showing, so when you're like, the most comfortable way to nurse is to just whoop, pull it aside, do your business, and then you pull it back up. And because you've got these two layers, it's really supportive. Um, it also doesn't have any underwire, which is um, not recommended while you're breastfeeding because it can cause mastitis. So between the two layers, um, one is nylon lycra, the other one's cotton lycra. You've got that lift, you've got that support, but not the metal hardware digging into your breast. So, um, you know, it's, it's, the fit is kind of more like comfy sports bra. You can wear it all day. You're not like ugh, itching and jabbing and things at, at you. So, um, yeah, women seem to really love it. We also are doing, uh, I just launched another bra called the Rose, which is just a pumping bra. So it's an alternative to this. 
Um, it's not a nursing bra. So a lot of moms that go back to work, they're not nursing throughout the day. They don't need the nursing functionality. So the rose bra is a similar design, um, but it's just for pumping, and you can wear it, and then just open your shirt, do your business, close it up, and back to business, literally. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So there's one more stage of mom underwear I think we need to cover. It's when you're trying to hold everything in afterwards. And we get a lot of comedy out of this in some of our episodes on our channel. We have some Spanx situations, but these are my Spanx. Oh, I have those. They have a butt. Yeah, mm-hmm. Are those uh, butt lifters? It's got butt lifters. It's got thigh smushers, and it's got a belly panel. Yep. And you can't breathe when you wear this. But you look like you're like ten pounds smaller. Mm -hmm. um, or if you don't want to go out full spanks, I also have various <laughs> underwear that have like panels in them. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of Maybe that's a sort full of a body suit, like top to bottom, that you could just you know. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. It, it could even like squeeze in the cankles that I'm getting. Just be like <laughs> a unitard of spanks. That would be great. Um, so we're almost out of time, but I have one more question for you guys I was thinking about. Do you think that the men in our lives really care about which stage of underwear that we're in, or do only we care? I think only we care. I mean, like my husband, you know, he likes me to wear my little outfits sometimes, but other than that, I don't think he cares. He just wants me out of them. <laughs> I think they see in black and white, right? So there's clothed and naked. Yep. It's pretty much, you know, right. everything or nothing, and I think they'll always choose nothing. It's a corny oh, line. <laughs> it's a corny line, but um, an old friend said he only cares about what it, oh, they, they all look the same on the floor. That's what they said. Yeah. I've heard that so, one. Apparently men don't really care about our underwear, but we do. Well, I challenge them to prove us wrong. They're welcome to, to comment on this uh, on this post and, and tell us otherwise. <laughs> yeah, if any men are actually watching this. Maybe and if they are and they're single, I'm available. <laughs> and she's got the cutest lingerie. <laughs> she's really hot in her lingerie. But we've already established they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right. They just want you naked. Anyhow, well, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Make sure you go down and um, enter the giveaway either on the blog or you, there's a link below this so that you can look cute and men won't care, but you will. And, um, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. This was fun. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, okay. See you all next week. Bye. Bye.